update tonight on a story we've been following for three years for you. Today we have learned of an important development for a Cuban immigrant who made headlines for being let out of prison 90 years early. An immigration court judge has ordered that Rene Lima Marin be released from custody and that he no longer faces deportation. Investigator Rick Sounder first broke the new developments today at noon. Rick joins us now from the ICE Detention Center in Aurora. So, Rick, what does this mean now for his release? Well, Karen, while well, the judge has ordered that he be released, what we don't know yet is if the federal government will appeal that decision. This for Rene Lima, Marin freedom has been elusive. But now an immigration court judge has ordered he should be released from the Department of Homeland Security custody. His attorney, Aaron Elinoff, received the order this morning. What was the reaction of Rene when you spoke to him? Uh, excitement, confusion. He was at a little bit of a loss for words. He said, so what does this mean? Confusion is not surprising. This all goes back 17 years when Lima Marin was arrested in the armed robbery of a video store. He was convicted and sentenced to 98 years in prison, but he was released nine decades early due to a clerical error. He married and started a new life. When the error was eventually discovered, he was sent back behind bars. A state court judge then ordered his release. The he governor is, then issued uh, a pardon, a but immigration authorities him. insisted he was still eligible for deportation to his native Cuba. Now an immigration judge ruled he cannot be removed from this country. If he walks out of ICE custody, if he walks free, then that, that puts the whole thing to bed. That is him waking up from this nightmare. A nightmare his family hopes is finally coming to an end. If there is no appeal, he could walk out of this facility very, very soon. His wife posted on Facebook that she is asking for prayers. Live in Aurora, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Rick.